Ever since the P.E.K.K.A. and Mega Knight Evolution were announced, there has been a lot of drama in the Clash Royale community. Now, a lot of people are excited about these evolutions, but just as many people, or possibly even more, are not looking forward to them, and there has been some outrage in the community, and there also has been a massive bug, which I'm going to show you guys in just a second how it all started. So, Clash Royale made this tweet where they said, Mega Knight joins the fight. Here's your next loading screen and then maintenance in 20 minutes to get the next season ready. They said next season though, little did they know there was going to be a massive bug that happened where before next season started, in the current season, there were people able to play the Mega Knight and the P.E.K.K.A. Evolution before they were supposed to be played, and it is just ridiculous. And this is what I'm talking about, guys. Look at Riley's tweet here where he's like, what? With a lot of question marks. As you guys can see, Issei here was using the Mega Knight Evolution before next season even started. As you guys can see, Riley's tweet here is from August 30th. And if you look at some of the replies from Viking here where he says, let me cook, he's got the P.E.K.K.A and the Mega Knight Evolution, and this guy's like, Supercell CEO should be jailed, game is dead, another person showing that you're able to use Evolution Shards on the Mega Knight and the P.E.K.K.A. before the new season started where they were supposed to be unlocked. And as you guys can see, Riley quote tweeted what he said and said, how the hell does he have these? So not only did the guy have the Mega Knight Evolution, also the P.E.K.K.A. Evolution at the top of ladder, able to use it, and he also included a screenshot here. Bro, this game is so cooked. And you guys can see in his ladder match, the Evolve P.E.K.K.A. is being played. Finally, after this was going on for a few hours, they were finally taken out of the game. And this is what happened. No, my Mega Knight Evolution. And as you guys can see, Supercell Support came up and said, we've got something for you. Your account has been compensated six wild shards. So technically speaking, because they got the shards back, they are going to be able to use them again on the new evolutions when they're actually supposed to be in the game. And the same thing happened here to this guy, use them on the Evolve P.E.K.K.A. So even though this whole ordeal was done and over with and finally resolved, it still hasn't completely resolved the chaos going on inside of the community the last couple days of casuals, mid ladder players, and even content creators complaining and scared about these new evolutions coming to the game, especially the Mega Knight one, which is absurdly broken, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. You got Morton here, a pro player, one of the largest creators, saying, I can't take this anymore, Clash Royale, please. He's not even complaining, he's just begging at this point on his knees, like, please cut this out. Gotta accept that this is not real Clash Royale anymore and just laugh at the shit they are doing. This guy made a meme here that got a ton of likes. It got 2,800 likes and this was just on the Evolve P.E.K.K.A. before the Evo Mega Knight was even announced. He made this before that and that goes to show how big of a shitstorm there is when the Mega Knight Evo was announced. An extremely overpowered card in our carefully balanced card factory how queen? I've never seen such a thing. I must inquire about this further with my supervisor post haste. And that was when the champions first came out and the queen was absurdly broken around the time when the Electro Giant Skeleton Dragons came out as well. And then he's just like, I guess we're doing broken cards now. He's getting used to it. Little Prince, the Evolutions, the Monk, and the Phoenix. And then voila! we got to the point now where they're evolving cards that are already pretty powerful, like the P.E.K.K.A., for example, the Bomber, the Tesla, the Drill, etc. So I guess that's kind of the point he was making with this, and that's why there's a lot of people that were upset that the P.E.K.K.A. got an evolution. Okay, guys, now let's get into Reddit, where the community has been going absolutely bonkers. If you guys did not see this clip, you have to see it now. Let me just play it. It's just showing you guys the Mega Knight against tanks. I mean, look at these interactions. It is just ridiculous. The Mega Knight evolution might be possibly the most broken evolution on release at this point. After seeing some clips like this, it is just absurd. I think they need to nerf its ability to where it only knocks back every other attack instead of every attack. And even after that, it may still be too broken, but that at least needs to be the bare minimum after seeing that clip, I think you guys are probably going to agree with that. 
And then a post from a day ago with a lot of upvotes is just straight up saying, don't buy Evolved Mega Knight. Hear me out. You should not be buying the Mega Knight Evolution. It's going to be so broken on release. Sure, but we know the Supercell scheme by now. Release broken cards, evolutions to bait everyone into buying it. Nerf it so it's unusable or mid. Repeat cycle. I'm calling it now. Evo Mega Knight will not be a strong evolution after they nerf it. So don't waste your money, folks. Damn, this blew up overnight. Thanks for all the upvotes. Stay free to play, guys. We need to stop Supercell Greed together. Insert Jesse Pinkman. He can't keep getting away with it. And he brings up a good point there. It is 100% going to get a nerf. I agree by far. This is without a doubt, bare minimum, a top three most broken evolution on release. And the Evo Bomber might have been slightly better on release, but this is definitely not far away. This guy brings up a good point though. 90% of the players are already using Mega Knight all the time. If you're talking mid ladder, of course they're going to buy it even if it gets nerfed because they'll still get a slightly better Mega Knight once in every two deploys. But if you guys are someone that cannot spend a lot of money on this game, I definitely would listen to this guy because it is absurdly broken and will without a doubt be getting a nerf soon. So the way you see it now is not the way it's going to stay definitely. And then you got people hating on the Evo Mega Knight so much that people just hate the designs even. That's how much people hate the Mega Knight evolution. This guy just said here, evolution designs are super ass. These evolution designs are getting so boring and unoriginal. I'm tired of seeing every troop but every troop but with purple with purple wear glow and spikes on every surface they can fit one. I get that they need to resemble the original card at least a little bit to make them recognizable, but look at this Evo Mega Knight. Literally just the regular Mega Knight, but purple. It got old so quick. I can kind of see his point. I mean, it is very similar to the regular Mega Knight. To be fair, so he kind of has a point, but maybe for me, it's not something that I pay too much attention to, but a lot of casual players do pay attention to cosmetics and how things look, so maybe it is something Supercell could consider. Warning! Only 21 hours left to get out of mid-ladder before a disaster occurs. Everyone is getting ready. Last day of the season, so essentially this is the last day to get to 9,000 trophies. Otherwise, you're going to be running in to Evolve P.E.K.K.A. and Evolve Mega Knight as you guys know it. So... Fair warning, you got a day to push up, I guess, to escape the range. The objectively correct answer to where does mid-ladder end? I'm actually curious about this because the term mid-ladder is thrown around really loosely and I feel like no one ever explains what it means or has a definition. It starts when you download the game and ends when you stop playing it. So essentially, he included a, I don't even know what this is. It's like brackets that you would see in like math and the bottom of mid ladder is zero and then the mid of mid ladder is 4,500 and then the top of mid ladder is 6,000 to 9,000 trophies, but it's all mid ladder technically speaking. And I will say as someone that reached 9,000 trophies, in a way, I kind of agree with this. In my opinion, 9,000 trophies is similar to 6,000 trophies, but the biggest difference is people have higher level cards at 9,000 trophies. When you're at 9,000 trophies, you're still getting mid-ladder decks in a way, so I can kind of understand this guy's argument that it's really all mid-ladder, especially when you're talking about Trophy Road. It really doesn't change all that much, but Path of Legends, on the other hand, that's where it's a little different, and I would say when you reach Ultimate Champion, that is where you're definitely not in mid ladder anymore and you've escaped the mid ladder range thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you guys are not subscribed already you can use creator code boss to support me in any super soul game and let me know in the comments what you guys think about the new evolutions coming to the game and also everything else i talked about in this video and thanks again until next time guys